In this video we'll take a look at various ways in which a QR code can be displayed in a UX component and uh, we're going to demonstrate how the QR code can either be generated client-side using JavaScript or server-side using uh, one of the built-in methods of uh, the XBasic QR code generator. So let's start out here uh, by uh, typing in some values. So I'll go here and type in HTTP colon www.alphasoftware.com and then click this button to set the QR code. So we can see now that uh, the string that I've typed in here has been encoded as a QR code and uh, this was all done using JavaScript so there was no Ajax callback uh, that took place. So let's go now and uh, uh, look at how this was done. So we'll go back to design mode and we can see that we have a control there called QR code. So in the list of available data controls is a control called a QR code. So we just simply place this QR code uh, on the screen and then the button that uh, does the set QR code over here is just simply doing a um, set value. So we can just see here we're just doing a set value and um, let's actually delete that code because we're not using it. So, um, so just like any other um, uh, data control, uh, like a text box or a text area or a radio button, you can use the set value and get value property. So when you set a value of a QR code, so a QR code here is the name of the control. You can see that matches um, the control name over there. So when you set the value of the QR code, then it's going to display uh, whatever um, whatever value it was set to as a QR code. So that's all that's involved in uh, uh, doing a client-side uh, QR code. Now let's take a look at uh, server-side QR code. So let's go back here and again type in HTTP colon and then click uh, this button for the client-side QR code and then this button for the server-side QR code. So what we see over here are two different QR codes produced on the server using uh, two different um, techniques. So let's go back now and uh, take a look at how this was done. So we'll go back now to design mode and then look at this button that does the server-side QR code and then uh, we can see that this button is making an Ajax callback to an XBasic function called XB and then if we go over to our XBasic functions, we can see here is XB. So uh, when the user presses the button, the AJAX callback takes place and the string of data that we'd like to encode is inside the e.datasubmitted.code. And if that is blank, then we just send back a message saying that you can't encode a blank value. If it's non-blank, then um, we... Uh, basically call the um, method uh, of uh, the QR code creator. Uh, in the QR code creator namespace there's a method called generate SVG. SVG is a uh, uh, simple vector graphic and uh, this basically generates an SVG version of the uh, QR code uh, using the um, high uh, error detection uh, algorithm so uh, this uh, second parameter can be either low, L, uh, M or H and that determines sort of the level of error correction in the QR code. So here we have some SVG now and then in our JavaScript that we send back to the client we just set the inner HTML of uh, an element called QR code to the SVG that was generated. So if we go back and look here we can see that we have some static text over there which has a div and an ID of QR code. You can also see that we have an image over here that has an ID of uh, image 1. So let's go back now to our XBasic here. So we've generated the SVG over here and then our JavaScript response just sets the inner HTML of that element to the SVG. So that's how we generate uh, the first um, server-side um, uh, QR code. And when we use the generate SVG method, we don't have any control over the size of the uh, um, image that is returned. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video where we'll discuss the second technique. 
So we're continuing now with our video on uh, displaying QR codes in a UX component. And now let's take a look at this uh, second um, bit of code over here. So here we're calling a function called QR code bitmap, which is um, actually just a simple wrapper around uh, the generate PNG method uh, inside QR code colon colon creator. But um, uh, unlike um, the generate PNG version, which doesn't give you any control over the size of the generated bitmap, this QR code bitmap function, in fact, does give you control. So you can see here, we're basically, this is the text that we'd like to encode. This is the error level that we'd like to use. So let's basically make that high. Then here's the width and the height of the generated bitmap in pixels. And then here we say dot t. So what we'd like to do now is instead of returning a bin binary data uh, for the bitmap over here, we'd basically like to return some character value, which is the base64 encoded uh, version of the bitmap. And then what we can do is get a pointer to that image control and then just set the source of that image control to this value, which is going to basically be the uh, base64 encoded value. So let's go now and take a look at this running uh, in the browser where we can actually examine the callbacks that take place. So if I go here and I just type in, say, alpha software and then click on this button to encode that, that string, you can see that there was no callback that took place. But if I now go and press this button here, you can see that there is a callback that took place and that the first QR code, which is just based on SVG data, comes back at whatever size um, the, uh, the server-side um, uh, rendered uh, uh, SVG determines. So you don't have any control over this um, size. On the other hand, here is the same string encoded using the QR code bitmap function. And if we look at the AJAX response here, we can see that here is the response that got sent back to the client. Uh, the f in the first part of the response here, we're setting the inner HTML and here is the SVG that represents this QR code over there. And then in the next part of the response, you can see here we're setting uh, the, um, the source of this image control. So this is an image control over here. And we're setting it to the base64 encoded version of that image. So there's the, the prefix. And then there's the base64 encoded data showing over here. So what we've shown over here is uh, uh, very powerful techniques for displaying a QR code on a UX component and using either a client-side technique or a uh, server-side uh, technique. And depending on your application, you can choose which is the more appropriate um, uh, technique. If you choose the uh, uh, to use the client-side technique, then uh, your uh, JavaScript uh, payload is going to be a little bit bigger because you have to um, include the JavaScript code that generates the QR code. Uh, the inclusion of that code is automatic. Uh, um, Alpha will just do that for you um, um, automatically. And then on the other hand, if you use the uh, server-side technique, then uh, while your JavaScript payload is going to be lower, there's an AJAX callback required. So you'll need to decide which uh, technique is best uh, for you based on your own application requirements. Thanks very much for watching.